Now, here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Good Sunday morning. Time now is 617. Behind me is Newport, of course, with the bridge, and it's a quiet start. And I guess all things considered, we have some gusty winds out there, so maybe it's not as quiet as maybe we'd like, but it, we're dry. No rainfall, that's for sure. Uh, here's New Bedford. It's, a, again, a breezy start, and uh, it's a chilly start as well. Temperatures upper 40s, lower 50s. One more check. This is Lincoln at the Bally's Twin River a casino here and you can see uh, it's dry ground out there so no rainfall again those winds uh, dried everything up pretty quickly uh, overnight here's a look at the wide view of the radar you can see a lot of the wet weather that we saw yesterday is now up to the north across parts of maine and parts of atlantic canada so again we're looking okay we are uh, staying dry we'll be looking at dry conditions continuing uh, for today and again it's gonna be gusty out there those winds at times 20 30 miles per hour someone along the coast may even see a, a gust as high as about 40 miles per hour so that'll make things feel a little bit cooler out there for today Temperatures upper 40s, lower 50s right now, and we're only going to top out in the mid to upper 50s later on today. And again, factor in that wind, it's going to feel a lot cooler. Here's those wind speeds again, sustained about 5 to 10, even 15 miles per hour. But those gusts, that's the bigger story because at times, again, they're 20 to 30, even up to 40 miles per hour uh, isolated spots as well. Three key things again, gusty winds today, that's the main story. Otherwise, we're dry, and that dry stretch looks to continue my seven day forecast. But I am looking at some warmer temperatures on the way as well. We'll talk about that in just a second. Here's that wide view. One more time, I can go even further. Here's a low pressure, weak system to our south, not going to bother us moving away. Low pressure and a trailing trough. It's a weak disturbance in the atmosphere. Again, two hour north, which is why there's some wet weather. This is not going to bother us. It's going to swing on through northern New England and make its way out to sea. So high pressure should be in control for our weather uh, for not only today, but actually for the next several days. And we can actually time things out for you here. You can go through the motions again, temperatures generally in the 50s today. That's all we're going to see. Here's 11 a.m. We'll call it partly sunny for today. I think we'll see the clouds hanging around, but also seeing some sunshine as well. That'll be with us pretty much all day long. Notice 3 p.m. There are breaks of sunshine in these clouds. So again, I'm going to call it partly sunny pretty much all day long, but it's a blustery day. Those temperatures on the chilly side. It's going to feel a lot colder, of course. Tonight, partly cloudy skies, a chilly start to your Monday. This is 6 a.m. Notice the temperatures in the low to mid 40s across the board. And I think a lot of us will actually be back into the low 40s. Some upper 30s are also possible, especially further north and west. But Monday's a nice day overall, looking at dry conditions, sunshine and clouds again for our start to the work week. No major weather concerns again going forward in time with that as well. So things looking just fine. Temperatures topping out around 60 degrees for your Monday and again staying dry. Wind gust forecast. This is for today, of course, the time bar also at the top of your screen. 9 a.m. Notice those gusts out of the west, about 20, 30 miles per hour, even during the daytime hours, afternoon and uh, late morning, looking at, again, those gusts anywhere from about 25 to 35 miles per hour in spots. And uh, again, I think the best chance of seeing those higher gusts will be along the coastline and the islands. But again, just be mindful of that. If you have any outdoor plans, uh, might make you know, a little bit more of a tricky, uh, you know, extra hand on the wheel kind of deal when you're driving uh, on the highway today. Just be mindful of all that when you're driving out in the roadways and being out there in general. Winds do subside a bit though as we head into our Monday. Seven day forecast for you again. Quiet weather next seven days. It's pretty uh, actually impressive that we're seeing a nice stretch of weather coming our way. Look at the temperatures though for Wednesday and Thursday topping out upper 60s to around 70. So not too bad across our area for the next seven days. Let's of course hope that weekend outlook uh, stays the same for our area. And of course, you can always get that full seven day forecast anytime on our website at WPRI.com. So Joe, today's forecast, not too bad. It's going to be blustery. So for those that are going to the Patriots game, just want to maybe have that extra layer. Yeah, a little wind, a little action. You know, we'll see where it goes, but a little better than yesterday, right? Just keep going yeah, up. Yeah, much better than yesterday with the rain, yeah. <laughs> and we'll see how this week plays down. Well, thank you, Stephen. Tough news, if you're a millennial or a Gen